this is when being gluten free kind of sucks. And you're really about to eat it in front of my whoa. face. Whoa, whoa. Bombastic side eye. She denied me entry into indulge it's gonna be pure relaxation i'm not thinking about nothing i'm not getting stressed out about nothing a few moments later we are about to board the ncl prima and we are going to bermuda Bermuda. Legitimately, oh my God. early biased opinion, best chip I've ever had. We're priority now. <laughs> Not him walking on this ship like he knows where he's going. I've been here before. He's like, take a look, walk straight. I was here like 19 months ago. <laughs> so I am currently in indulge food hall and I'm gluten free. Um, for like the past two months now? Three. Three months, three months gluten free. And so I had no idea what I could eat because I didn't talk to the executive chef or the food manager yet. But the shish kebabs are gluten free and the chicken tikka is gluten free. The chili is not. Must be the seasoning blood. I'm not gluten free. That's that husband wife solidarity. You know what I'm saying? This trader. This trader. No, I tried to do a nice thing. I didn't realize that this thing actually, they only serve it on the first day of Norway. German chocolate cake is cake, okay? I didn't know it actually had cake in it. I thought it was like nut goo. No, it's like literally one of my favorite cakes because it, it has all the types of things that I like in only it. Only serve it day one on the cruise. And you're really about to eat it in front of my Whoa. face. Well, what? I don't even like it. Shut up. Shut up. So this is when being gluten free kind of sucks. When people get to eat German chocolate cake in front of your face. I'm not even eating it. I don't like it. That makes it even worse, John. <laughs> he wouldn't let me put it back. He was eyeballing me. Uh... So I knew this was going to happen at some point, so I did bring some chocolate cover almonds and these are my favorite type because they're only 4 grams of sugar and the macros on this are amazing. It's like 5 grams of fiber, only 140 calories. Alright, we finally get to do it. Are you scared? <laughs> have eaten now we are on a quest to get to an elevator that is not jam-packed because we want to go to the spa and book our massages if you've seen any of my previous videos you know we'd be up in that spa <laughs> also y'all don't really know this but i have a torn meniscus um but my knee is holding up we'll see how it feels after the seven days but so far so all right <laughs> This guy led us on a wild goose chase. They're Mr. Fueling. Mr. Turn left, turn right, walk straight. They're fueling. We just walked a whole lap around this freaking ship. God, I hit my step ball. I got buzzed. <sighs> Fitbit. I don't even know what my step. I don't even know what my step. I don't know what my step. But yeah, it's cold out here, and he got us just walking laps. Mr. Navigation, Mr. I don't want to ask for directions. Okay, okay. Ugh, stop. <laughs> He's getting on my nerves.
part, for those who care, the dumbbells go up to 60. And then the preloaded barbells go up to 105. You know why I'm here. Oh boy. Best, best steam room Look at your any cool. Norwegian ship. Glasses. A Prima steam room trumps all other thermal suites. Mm. Best steam room. Okay. Nonsense. Yeah. This is like the infrared sauna and the salt room. I don't get the hype. But the ice room. Station K, to the free with They're gonna get there. Christmas they're gonna get the time in <laughs> the city. So now they only got me singing, even though you started it off. Sugar Bear. Mm -hmm. I'm Sugar very into Sugar Bear. All right, so we are back in the room. We did a little walking around the ship. He's hit his step goal. I'm just about hitting my step yes. goal. But we essentially, we went to go book our reservations. There were only a couple of restaurants that were free to reserve um, before the ship. So we had to go down to the Prima Theater to book the remainder of our reservations. Super organized. It Normally, was very organized. I feel like on Norwegian, they normally just have one desk that's in the atrium area. Yeah. And they were just like, nope. They had like 15 people out there. No. And the theater was really organized. So the reason and one of the biggest things for me, too, is like, am I going to be able to eat on this ship um, with my my, my gluten free dietary restriction? And yeah, so I mean, so far, so good. So indulge food hall. That was great. I was able to eat the shish kebabs, the chicken legs from the seaside rotisserie. And I was also able to eat the chicken tikka and then rice we know is gluten free. The thing that we were most afraid of was hasumi. Hasuki. Hasuki, which, which is, is the teppanyaki, <laughs> like hibachi place, and Ando by uh, Scarpetta, which is the Italian restaurant. But the lady told me that they can do uh, gluten free soy sauce, which is really, really cool. And they also have gluten free pasta. And if you go to the buffets and you ask the attendants or like the servers who are walking around for gluten free bread, they'll give you gluten free bread and they'll toast it in another location. Mm -hmm. I have a love-hate relationship with gluten-free bread, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be asking. But it's nice to know Maybe that's that Char. it's available. That's the thing, Char be the high fiber gluten-free bread messes me up. I it does. It messes me up. My system just goes Ur, and it just oh, stops. It stops. I just realized the past two days you've eaten Jonathan, that crazy bread. What did you think I wanted to tell you? 
Remember I told you, oh, I have something to uh, yeah, tell you? Yeah, I remember He's that. late. He's late. He's late. I have a whole theory about this. Back on subject, <laughs> Los Lobos has corn tortillas, and not everything is gluten-free, but a lot of the things are gluten-free. And Food Republic, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no I idea. But they did say mm -hmm. that every night um, your room attendant is going to give you a menu and then you pre-order your menu so that they have it for you the next day. Mm -hmm. So, so far, so good with NCL. Because I really didn't know how this yeah. vacation was going to go. I was really, really afraid. So if you have any food allergies, uh, food intolerances, it seems like they take care of you. It seems like they offer you accommodations for the most part. Um, yeah. desserts though. Yeah, hopefully they got something. Cause like, I'm gonna have to eat fruit if I want dessert, and who does that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Maybe ice cream, but I'm also lactose intolerant. But I'm more gluten intolerant than lactose intolerant. So I think I gotta. I think I gotta make a tough decision. I think I gotta pick the lesser of two evils, which I don't want to, but. It is what it is. We are officially on vacation. I say you are not officially on vacation until the first bite of food hits your tongue. Okay? And we have food. We have food. And those food haul, A1. I'm excited to have that for lunch every day of this cruise. Prima is my favorite ship anyway but it's a lot of it due to indulge food mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So convenient, so good. This has gone on longer than I wanted it to. They always do. They survived. Tip for your golf travel if you're new. If you can, take your heads off. Another golf tip. If you're traveling, airlines, if you have a soft bag, they won't cover you for damages. If you have a hard bag, which is like five times the weight, they'll cover you full cost in your golf clubs if they get damaged. Buy a hard case, even though it's clunky and it's heavy and you can't fold it up and store it somewhere easily. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, half of it fell out. Half of it always falls out. <laughs> seven o'clock and we're kind of old so we were about to get in the shower and go to bed but they just delivered us our ncl platinum welcome gift some chocolate covered strawberries let's see how they are they're pretty good all right y'all it is the next morning we went to sleep so early because we were tired we woke up at like three o'clock in the morning. I don't know how people get dressed, go to shows, like the sail away party, sure. But that like welcome aboard party that they do in the theater at like nine, 10 o'clock, I'm asleep. Or at the very least, I'm stepping outside the shower. <laughs> but um, Jonathan is getting breakfast. We have our first round of massages today. His massage, I think is in like 30 minutes. Mine's is a little bit later at 11, but I do have a confession. So I wasn't sure if they were going to have enough gluten-free options. So I bought my little gluten-free oat milk cup with me. I'm going to still eat it. I'm still eating. I'm just going to use the hot water um, from the hot water machine in the buffet. But knowing that they have like gluten-free bread. Oh, and it's actually good. Last night at dinner, I had their gluten-free bread. I had to do a double take because it tasted like regular bread. And then Jonathan tried it and he was like, oh, you can't really tell the difference. I'm trying to figure out who their connect is because um, the gluten-free bread I've been eating have not, it has not been hitting like that. But anyway, I'm going to breakfast. Afterwards, I'm going to the gym. Then I'm going to get a massage and then thermal sweep. This vacation 
It's not gonna be an adventure type vacation. It is gonna be pure relaxation. I'm not thinking about nothing. I'm not getting stressed out about nothing. I'ma just eat, work out, chill in the sauna, and do whatever I want, okay? The, the, this is the vibes. These are the vibes this vacation, cause I'm tired. Work has been crazy and I'm tired, okay? The lift is going up. Alrighty, so I finished up at the gym. That gym is entirely too small for the size of this ship. People were packed in there like sardines, but I did a nice push workout, bench press, shoulder press, tricep extensions, lateral raises, some core work, and then I did rows, and then I took like a 20 minute walk, very slow so I could track my workout. But overall, really good workout. I plan on hitting legs tomorrow, as much as I can do with my knee, um, and then some more cardio. But I am on my way to the thermal suite. I am about to get my 75 minute bamboo massage, ya tu sabes, wepa, okay? Walking around with my little, little cover up, even though it was freezing, I don't care. I told you we are subsisting off vibes this vacation, okay? Okay. <laughs> also, this little bikini is cute. <laughs> We in this thing. It's about to go down. Thermal sweet massages. I'm now the local. Tired. I'm so hungry, but I'm so tired. I don't actually even have anything to say. Maybe she's right. Maybe I do need the IV bag. She said I look tired. You you got the upselling today. My lady was just like, you're good. Bye. <laughs> Oh, your knee hurts? Maybe an acupuncturist. And I was like, no. She was like, all right, bye. They, the last cruise I was on, they told me I had dark bags. Yeah, that, that's what she told me. Because when she was trying to sell me the IV treatment, she I did, was just like. I did start using the CeraVe eye cream, though. So maybe it's working. <laughs> Does this happen to anyone else? Look at where I'm at. How? Okay, this is not a drill. That chicken biryani is probably the best biryani I've ever had in my life. all right y'all it is day three we are still at sea we just woke up we're refreshed okay tomorrow we're gonna be in bermuda but last night was another early night we are not trying to turn up this vacation we definitely aren't unless it's dance fitness in the atrium <laughs> we're gonna have a word with ncl i don't know why the past two cruises we've done with them they don't open the club till midnight yeah, we old, man. We old. I was Get back to that, like 10 or 11, even 11. 10, 30, 11. I was just talking to Jonathan about like, you know how I know I'm getting old? is because I can like, I used to watch Soul Train with Shamar Moore. Like, mm -hmm. and when you look at those like clips back in the day, they look like old clips. First of all, he was getting his life. <laughs> I used to make fun of him when I was younger. Now that I'm probably the age that he was back then, I'm like, okay, get down with your best. <laughs> Okay, okay. But anyway, we are going to breakfast. After that, we're gonna go to the gym, little couples workout where we probably don't talk to each other for an hour. 
Well, we will because we'll be like this in that gym. Yeah, we'll be like sardines. That gym is so small. But um, and then after that thermal suite time, I fell asleep in the thermal mm-hmm. suite, and my goal is to mm-hmm. do that again mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Rest and relaxation. This entire cruise. Okay? Read some books. And re- I haven't even cracked a book open yet. That's really? What, really? Even I did. I've been reading Reddit. Y'all, <laughs> I just discovered Reddit, and it's not as bad. It's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Y'all, we did a thing. We booked a 12-day Athens cruise tour. So we're going to Greece and Turkey next year in 2025. I'm excited. We're also going to St. Lucia, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. No Bonaire. No Bonaire. um, St. Kitts and St. Lucia. St. Kitts, St. Lucia. Yeah. (laughs) All right, so we just came from Indulge Food Hall, right? And this lady told me I was scandalizing people. She denied me entry into indulge and so now i'm sporting this i'm scandalized she tried to call me a harlot yeah. i just came back from this i is was not, just gonna say that this is not even that bad like this is not they're wearing full pants and socks people be up in those places with coochie cutters on pom pom shorts but a, a little tit a little little not even tit it says bulging trap is she i kind of just think she was a hater i think she was hating i think she was i think she was hating because i've never had somebody say that what i was wearing was inappropriate to enter a dining establishment you went in there with a bathing suit and a cover-up yesterday i went in there with a freaking which you should have been denied i should (laughs) have because it had the little slits on the side (laughs) oh my goodness i don't like that i didn't like that Y'all saw the full body, right? And another thing, before we went to Indulge Food Hall, we sat in the local. The reason why we went to Indulge was because Jonathan didn't like his burger, like at all. It was just raw. And I had a similar instance yesterday, so maybe they just don't know how to cook burgers on this ship. But he was like, let's just go to Indulge because it's right next door and we'll eat something real quick. So he got chicken legs. I sat at the local, which is that restaurant, Nobody told me anything. I sat there like this. No one said anything. Anyway, on a more positive note, for the first time, um, I've redeemed my like rewards pin. And so your girl is platinum. I don't know if y'all caught that. Your girl is platinum. (laughs) Also, nothing can take my high away because we are going to Greece and Turkey next year. We are going on a 12 day cruise tour to Greece and Turkey and we're staying overnight in Istanbul. We're going to Ephesus. We're going to Mykonos. We're spending three days in Athens. Devil won't take my joy. Okay. He won't take my joy. All right. He will not scandalize me. But Jonathan was actually saying that like next year in these cruises, they're going to be like bucket list cruises because every single place that we are going, with the exception of San Juan, but that's just where we're flying into to go on the cruise um, in February, that these are all places we've never been to before. So the one in February, we're going to Aruba. I already named it Aruba, um, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, all of that. And then the one that we just booked in Greece and Turkey. I ain't never been to Greece before. I ain't never been to Turkey before. Um, I'm, ex- we're extremely blessed. Like it is not lost in us that we are extremely blessed. So yeah, thank God. It ain't nothing but God, okay? It ain't nothing but God. But right now we are gonna head to the thermal suite and probably spend an, an inordinate amount of time there, so. Remember, this cruise is about rest and relaxation. Look at me think about that, ladies. <laughs> I just had a flashback to like 20 minutes ago. This cruise is about rest and relaxation. <laughs> but anyway, let's rest. Let's relax. Soft boy.
All right, y'all, so the weather is finally nice. The closer we get to Bermuda, it is no longer freezing New York City weather. But pro tip, if you are on the NCL Viva or NCL Prima, get the 942 rooms, right? 942 or balcony 342. Rooms. 942 or 342 balcony rooms because you get a little bit more space. Like and a lot. <laughs> like a whole lot more space. We're finally chilling out here and you can actually, you can feel the difference. So it's a little pro tip from your girl Ave. Okay, ya tu sabes. All right, this is our outfit of the night. This is the first time that we have gotten dressed up on. on this cruise and it's day three, but we are on our way to Food Republic and I hope that I can eat there. If not, I'll eat my Korean fried chicken real quick and my, is that, my Peruvian beef skewers. Is that solidarity? Out of there. Yeah. Is that, I'm gonna just eat real quick and then we're out of there. Well, we paid for it. We did they, pay for they it. They literally keep taking all the best things off the menu. They the really do. I don't, the elote is gone. Ramen, gone. I don't know why they're doing what it. Else was really the elote different. was the first thing to go. And we were just like, how? That was the superstar of the yeah. freaking menu. And let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm without knee brace and it's for fashion. They don't even know what's going on with you. Why did you tell them? I already told them. Oh. You late. You stay late. I'm falling. You stay this. late and you think you on time. This ship is rocking right now. <laughs> okay, so as expected, they didn't have anything for us. So we actually got some clarification on the pre-order thing. You have to go to each restaurant and pre-order. They don't like drop off a form to you. So I pre-ordered for Friday. Um, anything that I wanted in there just going to accommodate me. So... We're back and indulge. This is insane. Out of body experience. Cinnamon, brown sugar, fried pie. I mean, I love fried pineapple. I'm actually allergic to pineapple <sighs> when it's raw. I have a thing for like uncooked fruits and vegetables that I'm allergic to. A thing, a life-threatening allergy. <laughs> I do. I have heavy pins, but when they're cooked, they're so good. Look at that. Look at this one right there. That's some good, good char. It's candy. Mm. <laughs> They stayed up all night until 7 in the morning because she had to sing and play the song live in one take. But most of all, I wish it from myself. And the songbirds keep singing like they know the sky. When they came together, they sounded like no one else. Life, life, life. 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 Life,